Hey, Chris here. Been really busy here in the backyard. I'm going to get you up to speed of what's going on in my new project that I'm going to be working on. First off, fix this dangling wire for this solar panel array here. I got that split wire loom. And see here. And I just ran it inside the super strut here and attached it there and just use those beetle tie strap things and it's all good okay now for the big 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 new project those right there with the sun never liked it so those 12 Renogy panels are going to be taken down and moved along the fence line. <laughs> Been very busy cleaning up that back fence line and it's relatively weak. Uh, nine years ago I put those 4x4 posts in with the guys from my shop and you know after all the wind and tornadoes and all that stuff decided I'm gonna put steel or aluminum whatever those three inch posts are but today was clean up this fence line took all the backyard ornamentation took the green John Deere windmill down and dug holes <laughs> dug holes look at there that's a hole that is a hole thing here uh, went down 24 inches and I can when I put the cement in there you know the pole right here it'll just cinch up really good that'll make it stupid extra strong but take a look at the the line I'm gonna be working with and I measured everything out I need 21 feet and it's gonna come right to where I'm standing right here and the panels are gonna sit like this so we have the metal poles four of them which will strengthen up the fence anyway then I'll use like a super strut or something up top with like a hinge type thing and double brace it on the bottom with like a u-bolt type thing like John Brower did with his something similar to that um, and we'll see because this right here this fence that is facing south and there's my I don't know what time it is three three o'clock sun or whatever but essentially this is this is gonna see sun all day and if that tree grows back that's no big deal even when that tree was fully grown it was still sunny over here because in the summertime, the sun is uh, like way up here. So the sun, the sun just comes straight down almost. So yeah, that's gonna work out pretty darn good. But man, I'll tell you, I'm not 22 anymore digging holes, but I went about as slow as molasses in syrup. <laughs> digging these holes and getting this all straightened out but yeah those 12 Renegies are going to get moved over here and then those three secondhand panels that I got there I'm going to move those over there and then I'm going to fix that corner of the pergola okay and get it all pretty but uh yeah, I'm standing right here, and I'm, it's hot right here, actually, you know, with the sun baking down on there. And the way I'm going to wire it <clears throat> is that that new array, and then the ones that are on the pergola extension there, that's going to be one array. And then 
those three that are going to be moved over there, that's going to be a second array. And then the one here, the 12 that are going to sit right here, are going to be array number three. So 1,200 watts on this array, 1,300 on that array, and six, 1,800 on that array. So it's going to look real good. I had to sacrifice that Gardenia, but that's all right. I still got my crepe myrtle that is really, really pretty. Another Gardenia, and that Gardenia over there is going to be pretty. And that's that Japanese Previt. I love that. Uh, ornamental tree there and then this is the globe willow that will you know praise the lord come back and i moved mr bird feeder and then in here it looks like i got a baby bird in there see him i don't know if he's alive but they're pretty much upset with me today working here in the back corner lot so need to take a break fellas and you know if this backyard was facing south all my problems would be taken care of but you know in suburbia here you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to work with what you got and I'm not planning on moving anytime soon until it hit the lotto <laughs> but uh all right thanks for watching and i'll uh i'll catch up with you next time and uh see you later